Hey GearHeads, how are you doing today? This is Toby with GearReport.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the Sig Sauer Virtus. So stick around and see what we got to say about it. All right, gearheads. So here it is, the Sig Sauer Virtus in 300 blackout with the side folding stock. This baby, just so you know, completely empty. For those of you out there who are wondering, as we go through this review, it is empty. So let's start with just the facts and just the basics. So as I mentioned, this Virtus is a 300 blackout. This particular one has the side folding pistol stabiliz stabilizing brace. Um, it has a SIG match light duo trigger, which by the way is butter. That is a beautiful trigger, it really is. Uh, and it has interchangeable cold hammered forged barrels. All right. I got I to gotta shift everything You got the over. SIG Virtus. See it? 300, 300 blackout. We're going to see what we can so do with this. Everything around. <laughs> Have at it, sir. Have at it. Oh, Ooh. what do we got? Cyclone C? Is the mag? Tap the mag. All right. Yeah. Interesting. Let's do mm. that again. So what we got going on here? It's loaded, right? Is it wet? No. It's not it's not put it's not loading the next round. So that Interesting. Gas block? Good question. Yes it does. So yeah. the gas block not, might need to be adjusted. Was the last person that shot this using a suppressor? That is entirely possible that it was suppressed for the last time it was shot. Good. Turn the gas good off. call out, Cabell. So yeah, go ahead and run these these out. We've only got four in there, and then we'll make some adjustments. Good call out. Uh, you're hitting that gong every time, though, so it sounds like the sights are on. What do you think? Nice. You like this? Yes, smooth? I like this. Yeah. Nice. Get you 20 bucks for it. Get you 20 bucks? <laughs> <laughs> so wait, let me get this off camera. Hang on. <laughs> All right. So the stabilizer brace itself has a lift and turn style of pulling it up and out of engaging and turning, putting it into place. Once it's up, it's locked in, and again, it would be the reverse to drop it down. Now, a couple things that we enjoyed about the, the, the arm brace is, unlike some of the other lines, it has a very stable and sturdy wraparound so that when you actually mount it on your forearm uh, and strap it to use it in pistol style, it does, a, it does exactly what you would think it would do. It holds exactly on point where you would want it uh, and, and just fits perfectly well on your forearm for shooting. Uh, a little long, so if you do strap it to your forearm, or your forearm rather, and shoot it, it, it rides right up about the bend of your elbow, and so it does make it just a little long, so it would work better definitely in that fashion, not shouldered. It would work better with people with longer arms. That's All right, so we had the Sig Virtus and we had some failure to feed because it wasn't cycling back to pick up the next round, so... So we've got a, a sneaking suspicion that the problem has to do with these two little marks here. See, there's an arrow minus and an arrow plus right here at the gas block. And if we take and we turn it this way, if I can do it with gloved hands, it should allow us to have higher pressure. Quit going to the front of the muzzle, Toby. It's not safe. I mean, you know, if you just put a hole through me, Thinking about it's it. air conditioning. Is that why that's accessible? So you can... Yeah. You're supposed to be able to use a round, I think. Yeah, but I, here. I'll take my gloves off. But... We're going to see if we can do it without a round. Is kind of the general idea because it's not hot. Well, it should be able to do it this way, but it's got a little detent. I have a Letterman right here. Will that work? You want one of those? Uh... Oh, we're, gonna, we're gonna do the full round. I like it. Dude, with that dump pouch, you can use mine. Cool. Two, two, three round. Whoa, look at that. That was like butter. Did it work? 
Yeah, I just slid it. That quick? Now, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. So what'd you do? So what you stuck it in that hole right there. Put the yeah, yeah, let me, let me do it again. Okay. You stuck it in that hole. Yeah, so slow down a little bit there. Go in that direction. Less gas oh, for your lever. suppressor. Right. More gas for no suppressor. Awesome. So we put it back to no, we put it back to more. That's a so pretty, next time we shoot it, it won't fail. That's a pretty slick design. I mean, <laughs> perfect. Thank you, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. So we'll load this back up and try again. Do, do you want to do another video of that that's not Shoot, so crappy? See, somebody uh, I don't know, man. That was pretty saw. slick. Yeah, that was pretty dead on. Yeah. Just like their other lines, like the Rattler, SIG has done a great job in putting a quick detach point natively on the frame of the lower, as well as on the forend itself. Um, the grip is similar in nature to some of their other grips. It's got a, uh, a spot in the bottom where you can pop open and put things in if you need to, cleaning kits, batteries, whatever. It's got the rigid or ridges on the back and ridges on the front, as well as a modified stippling on both sides, which even though it's a hard plastic style, old school um, pistol grip, it still feels really good and modern. Uh, it's a little slick to where I think if you, you were wet handing it, you might have a problem keeping hold of it, uh, but no complaints really. I mean, come on, you know, how many of us are actually going to be in a situation where, well, somebody might be in a situation where that's needed with this gun. so. You might better think about it. Hard plastic gets a little slippery when wet. Um, the oversized and ambidextrous safety is a really nice touch. We actually had a couple of shooters who were um, right-handed who even used it just because it felt kind of natural to pull back and pinch to kind of pinch to, to throw on safe. So that was a nice touch, very nice touch. Um, the oversized deflector shield or deflector is, is very neat looking. The magazine release is just oversized enough, similar to the Rattler, and is ambidextrous to where, as you're pushing it on this side, you can see it's moving on the other side. So you got an ambidextrous style magazine release that is slightly oversized, works great. Uh, the slightly oversized slide catch and release is just large enough that it's not obtrusive, but that it does exactly what you need it to do. Um, the barrel and barrel shroud, that gas adjustment block in there is very handy. So if you're going to be running suppressor or non-suppressed, you're able to switch quickly between. And, and it's comfortable for a small gun. Hey, what is this one? Okay. What is that? Keep it small. So this is the Sig Virtus. Oh, you didn't play around. You're just ready to go. That'll do it. I'm done. Get her done. Good job, man. Nice. What'd you think about it? What, how'd it feel? I mean, you went so quick. Handling handling everything's pretty much the same as an AR. Right. The recoil is more of a push than a than a snap, but you expect that out of an AR again. Um, and I'm just happy that it's cycling this time. So. Yeah, I'm feeling the whole the whole QD built in where mm -hmm. it goes all the way through there. That's pretty hot. That is cool. Yeah. What do you think about the trigger? Good I mean, milling. This is now the box trigger. So. Yeah, trigger's great. No problems with that. I'm not a trigger snob, anyways. You might talk to Dwayne, maybe. He's Dwayne's a trigger, a trigger snob. snob. Yeah. Way to go, Dwayne. Yeah. I know. I thought this trigger was actually really nice. No, I'm, that is good. I'm pretty partial to the Savage triggers with the two stage, but that thing was pretty smooth, actually. I didn't feel like I had to pull on it. Didn't feel like I had to do. It just just went like it, like it ought to. Well, I mean, you're good at pulling on things. That is. I mean, I have lots of practice, nice. years of practice. The oversized charging handle is also ambidextrous. Worked very well. No complaints. Love the flash suppressor. Overall, I would say this thing is a winner. I mean, I don't know that I have anything whatsoever negative that I can say about the six-hour Virtus. Nothing whatsoever. We're also running the SIG. TCE, the P or the 99P0090939 TCE six hour red dot optic on top. And something interesting about that is you'll notice that it's got some solar power going on there. We've had this dot on for, gosh, I don't even know how long, forever. And it's still working pretty much like it did the day we pulled out of the box. So that's kind of good. Everything about it, the way it shot, the recoil, the, the size of the, the, um, the size of it, the feel, maneuverability just everything this thing is is a winner there's literally nothing wrong about with this thing nothing i can say negative so if you're in the market for 300 blackout uh one that uh one that can be modular and can be changed out mission specific for whatever it is that you're going to be using it for 
consider the six hour Virtus. Uh, it's got an MSRP, this particular model with the pistol around 2300. Um, I'm sure you could probably pick it up for a little more if you got all the good accessories to go with it. So thanks for checking it out. Thanks for taking a minute to watch the video. Until we see you on the range again, you keep living your dream.